I wouldn't mind a little more treble up there, like the higher. It sounds clear, it sounds balanced. Uh, not a lot of power. Mostly like the top range. I don't know, I feel like I'm not being surrounded by the sound. I need my cranium vibrating. I would say that these would be like, you know, kind of entry level. Ooh. They swallow up the whole ear. I can hear the bass now. I'm getting all the the warm mids and the bass. Mm, that's it. And it, everything feels warm. Everything feels good. Yes, I hear the treble so well. And then that bass isn't distorting. I like these a lot more than the first pair. These are lighter than the ones I was just listening to. But these feel like, you know, when the doctor like looks in your ears. Or the sound is a little thinner than the first or the second one. The, the lows are, are beastly. But the clarity on these uh, is, is, is nice. It's just not giving you the power. Like chunky bass and kind of dominating lower mids. Oh, I'm looking over there. <laughs> Are these the ones that I liked? Yeah, wow. Oh, this is nice. And the fact that they just look like normal earbuds is crazy to me. Okay, Google, buy me these. Okay, I, I'll be honest, I haven't heard about them until today, but they should take over. Compliments to the chef. The boom bap is right here. The loyal Ladies and gentlemen, Please find your seats. Our program will begin in 10 minutes. Thank you. So as you think about where OnePlus got its early success, it was really they captured the imagination of a group of early adopters who are not customers as much as fans. It goes beyond loyalty. It's brand love. And today, the younger generation is asking a question they're asking not what you make, but what you stand for. So I think that the reason OnePlus captured the imagination of an early group of fans is because they took this attitude of never settle, the attitude of disruption. Now the interesting question is uh, when you get to more mainstream customers, do they care as much? How do you scale fandom? The community for OnePlus is its biggest asset. And I've never seen a community quite so dedicated. We're, we're like these anchor points for these super techie nerds. And they've never gotten um, any company that talked to them like we do. So we're very unique in that respect. Grassroots brands usually you have a very loyal audience at first that's basically behaving like a cult, if you will. As you scale your audience and your community, you go further and further away from the epicenter of what the brand promised maybe was to the initial user audience. We try to keep everyone happy as much as we can, but yeah, sometimes uh, it's difficult to have like a very clear direction. What's really important is to have that face-to-face -face interaction where we can really get into a nugget of information that people maybe wouldn't have shared otherwise. And so we want to have a really open and honest dialogue with people. And that's why we call it the Open Ears Forum. In the last few years, we've come a long way in terms of our customer support, but we appreciate that there's still things that we need to improve. What our fans would think about how we're growing, hopefully they'll be proud and they will feel like they've also been a part of it. And it's also their baby. So when they'll see our phones everywhere in the future, they'll be proud of the fact that they had a hand in helping make this happen.
6. The latest phone in our quest for the perfect balance of technology, speed, and design. At OnePlus, we take a holistic approach to design, striving for all elements to work in harmony. We are driven by our pursuit of speed and performance with the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor. Combined with our refined operating system, we are pushing for a smooth user experience. The dual camera offers portrait mode, which uses depth of field to make your images look professional the moment they are taken. For physical design, we believe the future of phone materials should be dynamic, changing, personal. Taking inspiration from natural materials, such as porcelain and jade, we developed new types of multi-layered 3D glass with glossy and smooth matte finishes that visually transform depending on the light around you. But in the end, the key ingredient of every new phone we make is you. That's why we test our prototypes with users, listening, learning, and refining. We are passionate about pushing our boundaries in order to give you the speed you need. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Our program will begin in five minutes. Thank you. Gathering their feedback and inviting them to events, meetups, and their first global onstage launch with the OnePlus 5T. What's up, New York? I think the only way to win people back is to consistently perform well for a long time. In a month, we'll be celebrating our fourth anniversary, but it feels way longer than that because so many things have happened. As a product company, you are only as good as your last product. And earlier this year, we released the OnePlus 5. It represented everything that we'd learned and was our most complete phone ever. We don't believe in new and different technologies if they don't provide a meaningful user benefit. And this is our approach with the T-Line. The logical end of this story should be the birth of something that is sustainable. Can you keep up this level of innovation? Can you keep scaling? Is it a flash in the pan? Is it a short-term thing? So I think that what I hope to see as this story continues and evolves is something that is built to last and not just built you know, to capture people's imagination in a short period of time. So I think sustaining and scaling and building something that is lasting is uh, going to be the challenge going forward, and I hope that's where the story ends. Ladies and gentlemen, please silence all of your electronic devices at this time. Thank you. And over the past four years, it's been your constant feedback and suggestions that have held us accountable. When we've done the wrong things, you've told us, and you've cheered upon us when we did the right things. You genuinely want to see us become stronger and improve. So I really hope uh, this can continue and that OnePlus can become a stronger and stronger company and make you proud. We never wanted to create just a phone. That was just the starting point. We wanted to create a phone that got better and better and better with every update. And the only way to do that was to listen. So if someone said something about an issue with their screen, we knew what to solve. And when people started realizing we were actually listening, this whole community formed. Some people told us how annoying low light selfies can be. So we turned the screen into a makeshift flash and added professional settings to make the camera way better. We heard people wanted to shoot more stable high-res videos. So we developed this software to greatly reduce shake. We're huge gamers, 
and we knew how annoying getting alerts can be. So we gave people a way to turn them off. We were never driven by a big research department. We're driven by these people who are our biggest fans and our biggest critics. So we try to do everything we can to surprise and impress them. Then we send it out into the world and do it all again. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Founder and Chief Executive Officer, Pete Lau. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you all for coming today. Your love, last week, we were faced with a hard situation. It means so much having you all here today. Our close partners, media from across the world, and uh, most importantly, all the OnePlus community members who have supported us each step of the way. I see a lot of familiar faces today here. Today, it's a very special day for OnePlus, and we hope it's for you too. It's the biggest launch event we've heard in the US, and my first time on stage here, and my first time to present in English. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> I'm very glad to be here with you all and tell you about some of the great things happening at OnePlus. We are grateful for everything that has made today possible. The U.S., in many ways, is one of our most important markets. When we studied, our global community was already 